And the, and the great thing about writing music is, you know, it's usually you've been outside, you've seen a few things that just made you want to lose your shit and you just come back in the house, lock the door and just go, just, just stay away from me, reality, just for a little while. And then the guitar does something. And yeah, it, it is technically reality, but it's magic. You know, something is happening between you and your relationship with music. And uh, it's the most beautiful distraction. It gets rid of all of those negative feelings. It stops you from doing something silly and ending up in jail. Um, you know, I think it's a win-win, really. Mm. <laughs> That's a, didn't mean that to sound quite that... Uh, well, no, no, that but there, there has been nights, Ginger, hasn't there? There has been nights, you know, where we, we do find ourselves in these situations. Jesus, the night of a thousand cuts, absolutely. And it just seems like the, the, the dawn is a billion years away. And whatever gets you through that night is, you know, you just got to start clinging on to anything that looks like it's going to float. Um, wow. You know, so without, without you know, I'll, I'll tend to listen to music like that. But if you've got something ruminating in you, like a set of lyrics and you're churning them around, trying to find a, a central message, that is the best way of getting through a bad night that I've ever found. That's such a poetic way to put it. Just grab something to float on or that idea, that image of that desperation. Cause I've been there. I mean, long nights on the tour bus, missing home back when I was boozing hard and, you know, I found moderation, thankfully in my older years, but those nights of desperation and you put on a song and it saves your fucking life. Honestly, that's what music has always done for me in that moment of darkness. Someone's reaching out through their lyrics and speaking to me and just, you can't really put words to that, but I love the description you just said, like almost like clinging for a flotation device. And it's this, this torrential sea of well, darkness. Be That's beautiful. It, it, it's, it, I, I heard it described music is the, it is the sound of feelings. You know, it's, a, it's, it's the sound of emotions made manifest, I guess. Um, but you must've had that, you know, especially nights when I've been drinking heavily, um, and you just and a song has found you. You haven't found it. It's found you, and you just put it on again and again and again. Yeah. And not enough hours in the day to ever get sick of this song. It's it, it's almost way bigger than something that was recorded in a studio and released by some corporate body. This thing is like it's it's gone straight to source. It's 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 your savior. This one song, and I and I, I remember my life being saved by um, No Regrets by the Walker Brothers. And, and Scott Walker didn't even write this song. It was a cover version. But he just, this song, I remember I put it on, I put it on, I put it on, and I played it so many times that, that, that I was in a hotel somewhere and the, the next door neighbours um, complained and the police came. <laughs> and, I, I was, and I was told off for playing this song too many times in a row. I'm just like, you've got to come, I've got to give you a backstory here. And the left, you know, give me a pat on the shoulder and go, well done. You know, fuck those people next door. You know, they'll be, they'll be fine. Are you going to be fine, sir? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be all right. 